Yeah, and it wasn't the algorithm that decided a parameter is to not show me my own views. I'm not trying to make a video to say that people aren't watching because then it's gonna pressure them to leave a comment to let me know. Uh, I'm only allowed one comment, so if you're the one that commented, then you're probably not allowing somebody else's comment to get through. Uh, I just want it to be noted that uh, in spite of the fact that the videos, a lot of them I made thousands um, of videos uh, have zero views, I just want it to be noted that that it did not influence the outcome that I make more for whatever reason. You know, I don't want to make claims uh, that uh, it's regarded one way or another and thus far compelling me to make videos. It just only thing that is being noted here is that more videos does come out for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Because um, you might be able to make a truth statement about whether or not human nature implies that uh, reinforcement or you need encouragement or something because, or that, oh, I can, I can tell that this information is, uh, is um, corrupted and I cannot interpret this information to mean anything. And then what do you premise the, what I'm trying to achieve or the outcome is supposed to be, uh, or how they need to augment the, the, the system AI, the AI system. Um, because this probably isn't one of the best video, you know what I mean? It's like, you have to get on a certain, have a certain premise or a basis and established, or I'm going to pretend like you never do. And if that exacerbates you, you are forgetting a few, you're forgetting your faculties because this is, you know, what considers corrupted, corrupted source of information? Like what makes your information corrupted? Are you, can you establish why you feel like uh, misinformation is uh, uh, being achieved somehow, even if a human is not uh, the decisive factor in making uh, information, you know, uh, conveyance, you know, to where you get it in a form that is uh, acceptable. And it's not about whether it's right or wrong, too, just acceptable only. <clears throat> is it acceptable that you have so many views that depends on your parameters, even that? to the extent that a human, someone who is supposed to be governed by nature is going to see that if nobody's watching, are you gonna to talk to yourself? Are you gonna to talk to yourself? You know? <laughs> Do you think you're talking to yourself? Do you know that you're talking to yourself? Are you aware of you are talking to yourself? Uh, do you know better than to think that you are talking to yourself? And uh, um, ought anything be done about whether or not you can or can't? How about this? How about this? Whether or not something gets done can be um, like the butterfly effect, you know what I mean? Like uh, sometimes your lack of action or maybe there's no conveyance to reach your attention uh, and it can't be assessed what you believe, then there are certain things that are just that are just uh, 
kind of in limbo. We're just wait, waiting to know, uh, because you are a part of their environment and you did alter the unified field coming to, into existence on the unified field, if you have a cosmic origin, if you, if you are aware of it, uh, has to be established before we know how to set parameters around you. And so social media being uh, still, you know, regulated by an augmented um, uh, it's an augmented algorithm. And they try to give it more human aspects than it has just because it's humans that are programming it. Uh, um, who doesn't know all this already? I mean, you don't even... You know all this if you only ever understood hot and cold. Like, if you only ever took one gasp of air and then decided you didn't want to be born or something went wrong, complications, and you didn't get to live, exist outside of the womb, you would even know, you would even know that some of this shit, if it's proposed to a baby, they would laugh at it, at you for your, you know, feeble brain, you know, basically. But it's just that you don't have a conveyance, you know what I mean? Like, the shit that they're interested in is gonna take up, uh, is gonna be, you know, take up the, their attention more than you trying to explain something boring to them that they, uh, it's, it might be their purpose later in life to like uh, get a Nobel P Peace Prize for uh, conventionalism or something where they made the platform better. Just like I'm sure the um the Uniparty is aware that the of the Overton window. <clears throat> and uh, the last thing they want us to become is self-governed, passive assertive. And I'll admit that I'm crazy too. So I'm not, I don't have this perfected, but passive assertiveness is more efficacious to the degree that you would be able to get anything you want to see done without even having hands on it, you know what I mean? Without even touching, you know, like all, it's just a look, you know, like a conveyance. Uh, like why would you ever forego such an efficient, expeditious conveyance that you wouldn't know how strict and disciplined the system of like, that you would have to come up with you know, uh, to, to uh, in effect, replace it in order for you to get anything done. It might be easier with a naked mole rat in a jar, in a circle, inside of another circle, on a solstice moon, and 12 vestal virgins in silky green gowns, running the ring around a circle sing, singing, magic is the awakening, and uh, I don't know, you have to come up with like something to to make an impression on the psyche or something subconscious, subconscious. It's even hard to say what subconscious is. You know that it's uh, either a hundred times, a hundred thousand times more powerful if you want to say, or if, or 10 times. Because of one way that people look at it is that uh, you're able to, you, you, um, access like only like 10% of the subconscious when you're in your waking conscious. So that's like saying that it's like 10 times more powerful, but it is in terms of just what you're able to get then it could be a million. It's just like maybe with only 10%, you don't need that much to get um, small time stuff done. But in order to get anything significant, it would be like a million times more power. So 
our esoteric elite just try to uh, speak in a way to which it seems like they're talking to you, but it's over your shoulder. And they're trying to access the subconscious and to get some objective feedback from something that's not supposed to be objective, not objective. Do you know, it's like humans can't be all the time objective truth. We can't always be, sometimes we have, we can say subjectively true things. Okay, let me, let me stop. I think I tried to open up too many topics right now. So let me stop right there.